While you are watching this film, somewhere in Europe, every two seconds, there will be an accident which is statistically recorded. The number of unrecorded, so-called minor accidents, is, in the opinion of traffic experts, just as high. This means that somewhere in Europe, there is a crash every second. These accidents are due almost 100% to human error, influenced, of course, by weather conditions and road conditions. But as long as human beings are driving these vehicles, we shall always have to reckon with accidents. It is for this reason that in both the design and the production of its vehicles, Volkswagen ensures that the occupants come out of an accident as lightly as possible. This is also why many costly crash tests are carried out, so that the information gained from these simulated accidents may be utilized in series production. But designers at Volkswagen pay just as much attention to accident prevention measures, so that drivers have the upper hand in critical situations. Excellent brake systems do not only offer safety to the driver, the optimum design of the running gear makes it possible to master such situations. If weight is ideally distributed between the axles, reliable road holding is assured, even if the vehicle is fully loaded. In commercial vehicles without an engine compartment extending in front of the vehicle, some people have the feeling that they're not as well protected as in a comparable vehicle with an extended bonnet. We want to show you in this film that this feeling is not justified. Because for the Volkswagen commercial, a deformation zone has been developed which can absorb impact energy to a considerable extent. These two side members are generally common. The VW commercial, however, has two additional side members, and in front of this forked frame, there is a deformation element which converts impact energy into deformation and distributes it evenly. The driver's cab also has extensive protection, so that even if there should be a collision with an obstacle situated at a higher level, the driver has excellent protection. Above the deformation element already shown, there is an additional protective frame. Four vertical struts connect a box section cross member to the floor group. Another bearer is situated in the vehicle interior. This bearer is supported by special struts on the doors of the driver's cab. These struts also offer additional protection to passengers in the event of lateral impact. LT vehicles also have deformation elements and protective struts. In addition, the safety steering contributes towards excluding the possibility of serious injury to the driver. Two struts with predetermined buckle points facilitate the absorption of energy. And a detachable steering column element prevents the steering column being pushed into the vehicle interior in the event of a collision. These and other measures are the result of many crash and overturn tests of which we can show you but a few. Preparations for a crash test. The VW bus is to drive at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour against a solid concrete wall. The aim of the test is to ascertain to what extent the expected deformation will endanger passengers and whether the doors can still be opened easily after the crash. The dummies represent human beings of average size and weight. The view from below shows clearly how the forked frame with the deformation element absorbs impact energy. All the doors can be opened relatively easily after the crash.
the deformation of the interior did not endanger the passengers. The vehicle interior of some of our competitors looks completely different. In crash tests carried out on Volkswagens and competitive models, the test conditions were absolutely identical. The extreme deformation of the side members gives an indication of how much greater the danger to passengers is. Another test. A comparison test is to be carried out to demonstrate how much better passengers wearing seat belts are protected than those not wearing seat belts. Impact speed, 50 kilometers per hour. A second test under the same conditions. The dummies are, however, not wearing seat belts it is surely not possible to give a clearer demonstration as to just how necessary seat belts are. A crash test between a VW bus and a stationary K70. Impact speed is approximately 70 kilometers per hour. The dummies are wearing seat belts. All passengers are subjected to only low biomechanical stress. The vehicle interior remains unchanged and the VW bus was even operational. Some may consider an impact speed of some 50 to 80 kilometers per hour to be too low. However, investigations show that in reality the actual impact speed is not higher because in most cases the driving speed is reduced to a speed of between 50 and 80 kilometers per hour by braking. An overturn test with a fully equipped VW camping vehicle. Speed prior to overturning, 50 kilometers per hour. The roof remained fully intact and the doors remained closed. If passengers wear seat belts, the danger of injury in this kind of accident is relatively low. An LT-31 crashes frontally against a solid concrete wall at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. The test dummies were wearing seat belts and the stress to which they were subjected was very low. What would happen, however, if the vehicle collided with a stationary vehicle at a higher speed? A test with an LT and an American limousine. The occupants of the LT are wearing seat belts, but not the occupants of the passenger car. Impact speed, approximately 75 kilometers per hour. The crash results in heavy damage to the limousine and to the dummies which were not wearing seat belts. The LT, however, was operational after the crash and the doors could be opened relatively easily. The deformation of the interior was negligible. <laughs> Here, once again, are a few slow motion pictures of this test. The dummies wearing seat belts in the LT were also subjected to stress during the crash, but they remained on their seats and are not damaged. Another test. An LT high-roofed delivery van and a standard panel van both overturn on a hill some 10 meters high. 
on both vehicles, the shape of the body and roof remain intact. these tests were carried out on series vehicles and the result even in critical situations Volkswagen offers a high degree of safety for vehicle occupants vehicle and load <laughs>